This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS principles. I'm on unit five, building apps, lesson one, buttons and events, part 10. Let's see. Descriptive IDs. Ah, yeah, that's critical. You try it. Give your buttons descriptive and mean meaningful IDs rather than the default button one, button two, and so forth. After you change the ID in your design mode, remember to change the event handler so that it correctly references the new ideas IDs of the buttons. Okay, run test debug and the program to make sure it works and debug any problems. If we need some reminders, there's the rules, case sensitive, no spaces, must be A through Z. Uh, they can have hyphens or underscores. I don't use those though. All right, so what it means, change the event handler. This is the event handler. On event, it's handling, it's running the function that uh, occurs when that event happens. So let's go to design. Now my onward button, I need to change. So I'm just gonna say forward, and I'm gonna kind of follow their lead here, button. Because once you get a lot of things on the screen, it is difficult to remember that forward is the ID of a button, and maybe not the ID of a forward arrow thing that you have floating around. So I'm gonna use that. And then I, for my turn left, I already named it turn left, right? So I am going to add btn to represent button because descriptive IDs are important. Now I'm going back over to the code and to move forward now, I want it to be my forward button and to turn left. Well, I renamed that left button. Let's double check everything's working. And we are good to go. Awesome. Forward.